Hello, welcome to Revelator John. Uh, again, just uh, another um, few thoughts to share with you. So it's the 27th of November. Just been out and about on the, the bike all day, see my other videos uh, for all that content. Um, but really, I wanted to ask a question, really. Um, Black Friday, okay? Don't really understand what all the fuss is about, really. It's basically um, just a day to have sales uh, and to boost the economy and boost, um, you know, the high street sales and everything. I get that, understand that. And it's all come from the States. Um, but it's supposed to be Black Friday. So, uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, and I'm sure this is repeated virtually on loads of businesses, loads of shops, uh, up and down the country. Um, but big uh, love motorcycles, of course I do. Um, the real big passion of mine, but obviously the other big passion is, is uh, West Ham United, you know, football club, love my football. Um, so they had a Black Friday sale that actually started on Thursday. Uh, so it ran through Thursday, went on to Friday, it's uh, well, on Saturday and Sunday, and do you know what? I haven't even checked the website today. It might be even closing tonight, uh, this is the Monday. Um, but that's not Black Friday then, is it? That's not Black Friday anymore, it's Black, you know, end of November, um, four or five days. Um, black. Um, so I don't really, I don't know where this term Black Friday came from, anyway, um, maybe you out there can uh, figure it out. But anyway, so, I managed to get myself a, um, a, a, um, a shirt, uh, one that I'm wearing now actually, uh, Thames Iron Works, you know, um, but um, also got you know, a couple from, uh, from my boy as well, who's a, who's a Hammers fan, uh, which was I'm sure always good, um, you know, passing on the generation, and I have told him that he's got to prepare himself for a lifetime of pain and suffering and hurt, you know, being a West Ham fan, it's never easy. Uh, we are going through a few difficulties at the moment. But, you know, that, that's another discussion, really. Uh, the, the big, so the big thing is, I don't understand this whole, you know, uh, having a Black Friday day that actually lasts longer than one day. It should be just on the Friday and that's it, surely. Otherwise, don't call it Black Friday, call it Black Weekend or Black, Black November, I don't know, Black... Black uh, four day break, I don't know. Um, but uh, anyway, so I, I'm sure you know if you're you know uh, into buying stuff, uh, you know, from any kind of shop, or biker gear or or football gear or, or whatever it is. Um, I, I I just wondering when this sale is ever going to end. So if it's you know, in, in some cases, they're knocking, you know, low, huge savings, 20, 30, 40, 50% off. It just goes to show you the markup that they're making on these items anyway. Still a huge, huge markup. Um, so then we have this, and I suppose the prices are just going to go back to normal tomorrow. Um, and then we go up to Christmas, which is only about another, what, month away, less than that? And then you can have the sales that usually start from Boxing Day, Boxing Day sales. But I wouldn't be surprised if they start even before that, like Christmas Eve or even, you know, a week before, just to, you know, get things going, get keep people moving. So then you wonder, well, actually, you've got sales, sales, sales. There's Black Friday. I had a bit of a discussion with the old father-in-law the other day, and he was saying it's a bit of a con, the Black Friday. And I thought, well, it's not really a con, because all it is, it's just a sale, you know. Um, I suppose the con is that just because Black Friday has happened or happening uh, doesn't mean that you're never going to get the same deal again in a couple of weeks time. So you probably will. Um, it's just, yeah, I, I, I just thought, well, this is another, you know, a way the retail sector just seems to be um, fudging things a little bit and, and, and making... Uh, claims that are, uh, I'm not saying they're not true, but you know, it's blurring the lines of what what something was intended to be and how it actually ends up being. Um, you know, so 
as I said, I, mean, I bought mine on Friday because I was under the, you know, maybe I'm just a middle-aged twat, you know, and I just can't figure these things out. But I think, well, if you have a Black Friday sale day, you have it on the Friday, that's where I'm going to buy it. You know, I don't expect to be having to still be buying stuff on a Saturday or Sunday, which, you know, for some people, I suppose, they'd be like, what are you moaning at? Because that's exactly what I want. I want sales to last as long as I can. You know, I can't argue with that, you know. But that's what I kind of said in my initial point as well. It kind of shows how much of a markup they are making on these things in the first place. Anyway, but uh, there you go. So that is uh, my little uh, pet gripe on uh, Black Friday. I have no idea where it came from, uh, why they decided to call it Black Friday. Um, it sounds like a bloody stupid uh, title to me, but there you go. Just call it Big Sale Day or something like that. Um, and um, and anyway, but it's uh, it's always good to, to get a bargain. So. Uh, Thank you, West Ham, for uh, putting on a uh, 40% discount on uh, a lot of the shirts, uh, which is really good. Uh, so I got my, uh, I got my boy uh, uh, another shirt, and uh, for this season I got myself this. And uh, and um, actually, if I, if I'd known a week or a couple of weeks ago, I'd got myself a 1966 replica shirt as well. So <laughs> you know, I wish I'd. Wait. But there you go. I did. It's got again because I'm such a dickhead. Uh, I don't know. But I didn't know this Black Friday was coming up. So um, you know, I, I could have saved myself a few quid. But there you go. Yeah. Say lovey. Right. So thank you, West Ham, uh, for um, having the sale uh, for forty percent. Worked a treat, and um, it's. Um, but the most important thing is actually the performance on the pitch. We're going through a tough time. Hopefully we are seeing a few green shoots uh, uh, of, a, of a recovery. Um, but, uh, you know, too early to tell yet. Moyes has got a big, big challenge ahead of him. Uh, and I think the boys have to really step it up to, you know, put in consistent performances and hopefully start getting results. Luckily or unluckily, but you're never quite sure, really. Um, our next match is against uh, Everton in a couple of days' time on Wednesday. Um, so let's just see um, how that goes. Um, they've come off two spankings, really, uh, the last uh, week. Um, so, you know, they, you know, they could uh, put on a performance against us just to pull themselves around as well. So we're going to have to be ready for that. And I think this is... My thoughts on West Ham uh, for the rest of the season, really. I don't think that we can ever um, think that we are better than any other team, that we should be beating any other team now, because we're in a dogfight right to the end of the season. So we've got to approach every single game as if it's right. We've got to try, you know, above and beyond, putting a performance, putting in tackles, you know, defending really well. Um, running our hearts out in midfield, creating, you know, creating runs, and for goodness sake, putting a decent cross, for Christ's sake, um, you know, to, to our, 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 our attack. You know, we, we, we are lacking and been, haven't been firing all cylinders on all, on all areas of the pitch. Uh, so it's time to turn around that, turn, turn that around now. Um, the last... Um, uh, game um, on uh, Friday um, against Leicester was promising. Uh, we showed some uh, urgency, showed some determination, a bit of grit, uh, but still the quality was really down in certain areas. You know, crosses, especially from the left hand side, lots of urgency, but lots of, you know, running into players and mistimed passes and stuff. Um, We've got a weakened defence at the moment, so we need our midfield to really support and help that midfield and block out you know, some of the stuff that's going on. We've got players being pulled out of uh, you know position all the time, you know, um, partly because they're they're uh, in bad form, but partly because they're the ball is being played and they're being forced to go into certain areas because other players just aren't doing it, you know. Um, so lots of problems, lots of issues, but. And hopefully, 
we can uh, we can uh, keep on going. Um, so anyway, um, don't usually have. I've got to say, you don't usually have um, bikers who you know are really into their bikes who also love football. Um, I'm sure they're out there, but I, don't, I very rarely come across it. Um, so I love my I say I love my football. Um, West Ham is a childhood club, so I'll always uh, support them. Uh, you know, and I, I suppose this is what I say to my my lad you know so well you know doesn't matter what happens now we're, we're going to support west ham you know that, that's our team well that's your team it's always been my team that's your team now you know what you don't want to do is ever be in a situation where you're just supporting a glory club and never know any kind of bad times well you know, he knows right now that we're in a bad time. Um, and I think, you know, for me, I, d I, I don't know. I don't know what you guys think out there, but for me, it's it's in your blood. You know, part like motorcycling is, is in my blood. It's, it's part of me. So is football. So is West Ham United. Uh, that, that's all. That's in part of me as well. Part is part of my makeup. And, you know, you're coming in and out of... Um, you know, how much affection you have for your club or how frustrated you get with your club or whatever. But it's all, it's always there. Um, I think a lot of the time that you, you know, you, you think about your club and you think, oh, God, you know, I hope we don't get relegated or I hope we don't get beat. But I'd never want us to get relegated. I'd never want to get beat. And, but I'm a realist as well. I know that when, never, you know, we have great games but we have a lot of bad games we have a lot of bad performances not just this season but historically throughout our whole history you know we've had uh, good years we've had really bad years we've had been relegated quite a few times but I think you know what if you get relegated and if we got relegated again and I got relegated again you know we could end up playing in you know the uh the Southern, you know, the Vauxhall Conference or whatever it's called now, the Southern Premier League, you know, couldn't give a monkeys really. I still support them. It's still my team, still my club. And that's what any fan is, you know. It doesn't matter where your club goes, you know, you'll always support them. And, you know, we're in a tough time at the, at the moment. I'm confident that the boys can pull it around, but they've got to pull it around. Um, and... Um, you know, so I think it's our it's up to us as fans. Uh, no matter where you are, no matter what you do, no matter from whatever walk of life you're you're from, and whatever the other interests you've got, that you know, that all we can do is support your team, whether physically, um, you know, or spiritually, if you like. Um, anyway, so don't have more things to say. Come on, you minds, up the hammers. Let's go.